A local artist with a vision, creating and teaching art, not with a brush, but with a tufting machine. It's common across the globe, but it's rapidly expanding in popularity here in the U.S. This multimedia artist previously focused her creativity on easel painting. Now she's teaching how to make rugs, pillows, and more, and she's doing it, making history at the same time. We take you to Providence in this week's Street Stories. There you go. Keep it moving. Yep. Yep. You're a pro. Come on. Yeah. It's not your typical art class. This is a bit more skill based. Straight line. The whole thing. This yep, is yep, tufting. Yep. Perfect. What's tufting? It's sort of like sewing. But the difference, you swap out the sewing machine for a tufting machine, and you're using yarn instead of thread. Rug tufting seems really cool. Tufting is really just a modern spin on traditional rug making. So you'll lose visuals on me as I put this up here. If you're familiar with latch hook or punch needle, I have a big old needle, some electricity, and we can make a rug in a few hours. These look great, y'all. Big part of what I'm trying to do here is also like inspire. Saveri Hazard Cheney is making history in the capital city. Rhode Island's first black owned rug tufting studio is, you know, more than just like a line. It's a big part of my identity and what I'm trying to build here. Perfect. Sav has two four year degrees. Yeah. Yep. But they have nothing to do with this. The first time that I actually ever saw a machine was on my kids' TikTok. I saw the machine being used and it was an instant connection for me. I'm a painter by nature. It was like painting, but with yarn. Culture, community, and design. Sav says most people who walk into her studio at 1155 Westminster Street have yep. never seen a sewing machine, let alone a tufting machine. There really is an experience there where people just see the beginning, where it's just their frame and a drawing, and then they get to walk out with something so tangible. Nice. And getting to see like that process and that excitement on, on people's faces really make what I do, as far as teaching goes, like worth it. My friend, yeah. <laughs> She's teaching people from all walks of life. Those are the pieces that you're gonna wanna hit first. Graphic designers, fashion designers, weaving artists can all come in and collab and make something together. I've had pillows, patches been made. People can really get in here and get super, super creative. Uh, we love creating art together, and uh, this was something that we wanted to try. Especially once you actually learn to get comfortable with the machine. Where Tufting holds space, I think, can actually, is, is, is an area of opportunity. Sav hoping to be an inspiration to her family, especially her children. They're connected to, in the community, in the province, in this community and are also artists and so I hope that I'm showing if nothing else just the dedication and the passion for something that you really love. Very cool, isn't it? It's just incredible and talking about her passion and her love for it, you can feel that. It just exudes from her. I think we got to take Tony. He was all excited yeah, watching this uh, story. <laughs> Sav had her work displayed at the Waterfire Arts Center. This week, she flew out to California for a taping of the Jennifer Hudson Show, which airs on the CW Providence. Uh, that's going to air probably later on this month. Cool.